What's interesting about rollover crashes is they actually take a much longer period of time. Frontal crash, side impact on the road might be over in 100 milliseconds. Rollover crash could take 10 or 15 seconds in general. Your body's being drawn up toward the roof. You're upside down or you're on your side or you're at an angle. And when you hit down, it's going to be a severe, severe impact. This is the Center for Applied Biomechanics, and here we apply the theories of mechanical engineering to the human body to describe how injury occurs in traumatic events. Rollover crashes are about 2% of all automobile crashes on the road, but account for about one-third of the vehicle occupant fatalities. Rollover is a major public health problem. Currently, the only crash test used by the federal government to assess rollover crash worthiness is a roof crush test. What we're doing is trying to come up with a dynamic crash test that actually rolls the vehicle and has it impact the ground the same way it would in a real rollover crash. And if it rolls once, it'll be this way, but if it rolls a second time, you'd see scratches over top that would turn at some funny angle. So we're exploring a lot of questions related to rollover crashes, but one of the things that we're working on is how biofidelic or how human-like is a crash dummy in a rollover. What I'm trying to do here is to improve the current crash dummies to more accurately emulate how the human body responds in a rollover crash. Our goal is to supply information to the community. We want to learn how to protect occupants in rollover crashes. If we can get that information out to the manufacturers, they could use that information to design environments so that when you are in a rollover crash, you have the least chance of sustaining a serious injury or dying.